Welcome back. It's been 24 years since the Carr brothers' crime spree shook Wichita. Jonathan and Reginald Carr are convicted of abusing and terrorizing five people for hours and killing four of them. The victims are Aaron Sander, Brad Haka, Heather Moeller, and Jason Beffert. Another woman survived the attack and testified against the brothers. They received a death sentence in 2002. Heather was a Wichita preschool teacher and her legacy lives on through a unique camp. It's opening the community's view on people living with visual disabilities. Photojournalist Nick Kiefer and I are shining the Here For You spotlight on Heather's camp. We have this pizza box that we're going to use. Every summer, Jada Purdy finds her true self at Heather's camp. There are people around you who understand your struggles. The camp gives kids who are blind or visually impaired a traditional camp experience. Okay, I'm gonna straighten this part a little bit too. It empowers them and lets people see Jada for who she is, a leader. It's uplifting for you and I think it also shows people that you're capable instead of them assuming that you're not able to do something. Envision started the camp in honor of Heather Muller after she was murdered in 2000. Heather was a light to this world. The 25 year old's passion lit up around children. As she called them, especially small ones, her teenies. Anytime that she could do anything to help kids, she would. And then I think um, deep down she knew her, her real calling was to help children that you know, had any kind of special needs. Throughout the camp, kids play sports, do archery and challenge themselves. Sometimes when children have disabilities, they're often like, steered away from things that might be challenging, uh, but we don't do that. We push them. Actually, I think you're wearing yellow pads as knee pads. Heather's brother Jameson is a counselor at the camp where he feels Heather's presence. Every time. I, I can't think of a time when it doesn't feel like just you know, her her joy that she had. Good job, Jason. Blame Hold you. On. The week builds confidence in the campers while honoring Heather's legacy. The experience offers continuous inspiration. She'd probably say, keep it up and make it better. For 24 years and counting. Since 2001, the camp has helped over 550 students. Vision offers resources for people living with visual impairments year round. You can just truly see everything that is happening with that organization, and they're just shining a, a great light for so many people. Mm -hmm. And it really is making a difference. Jada, who I talked to, just kept saying how she is a leader. She's really herself. She's been able to grow through this experience, and she wants to keep going there. She graduated out of the program and now is like a counselor in training. So great to see. Great to see. Want to see uh, more people get, get to experience mm -hmm. that situation. 